What's going on you guys? So I am so excited today to check out Titans episode 11 of season 3 and I gotta say season 3 easily the best season so far but there's been a couple of duds here and there so you'll have to let me know what you guys think down in the comments but what's going on my name is Leo Rydell and this is Geekly Goods and here we cover the latest in movies, TV, with a little sprinkle of anime for you as well. Today we're here to check out and react to Titans Season 3, Episode 11. So join me on this reaction and let me know your thoughts down below. Let's check out the episode. After a detailed study of Crane's criminal record, hmm. of the dominant personality. Is that what you think, Brucey boy? That's In cool that words, there's like Jonathan Crane, actual like breakdowns of these abuse characters. The was ill equipped for the scarecrow's unique Ooh. form of brutality. He said ill equipped. Computer, stop music. Crane is one of the most pitiable among Gotham's violent criminals. Boys. He said pitiable. Ooh wee. He said this dude is the most pitiable. One of the most pitiable in Gotham. Is he with that girl, y'all? He's chilling in way Yes, too. you are. No, I'm not. You are terrified of everything in this house, and Ooh. I get it. What does he want from you? Will you Ooh, ever wee. be good enough? You're never gonna be good enough for Bruce Wayne. Oh no. <sighs> it's a relief, isn't it? No, he didn't like that. Deep psychological issues. We have to get rid of public enemy number one. That's Nightwing. Oh, that's oh. fucking crazy. I think that you are on their side. Getting rid of Nightwing, it. though? You're on their side! Mm, he seems so what unsure of this now. I got a busy day. He hasn't been taking the drugs, so. He's having second thoughts, clearly. You know he missed the Titans now. You know he wants them back. He want that friendship back. You know, y'all know he do. Man, it is bad out there. Even for Gotham managed to harvest some supplies. Didn't we, pal? Oh. Thanks for the clothes. Crypto. Didn't think traipsing around Gotham in a super suit was the greatest idea right now? Probably not. Any luck tracking down Blackfire or anyone? Mm, no. The team is split, y'all. These scanners must have switched to an encrypted frequency. Hello, Gotham. What the hell? Is that Red Hood? It's Red Hood. Yep. This is some Joker type shit. The most exclusive spot in town, the Batcave. Oh, shit. For too long, this city has been at the mercy oh, of criminals. No. I'm talking about the ones who Tim pretend saw to it. only make things worse. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. And it turned Gotham into a city of carnage. Mm -hmm. And it all comes to an end today. There's a new savior in town. What? Red Hood's like me. First thing I'm going to do is burn the trash. You hear me, Nightwing? Ooh. You're public enemy in the world. No. Meet me at midnight. Do you know the place? Uh oh. Savage, bro. Savage. Nightwing versus Red Hood? Let's go, baby. Let's go. He's right. <laughs> Time to finish this. Blackfire was shot. Yeah, for real. I'm not going to stay here and do nothing. That was rough with Blackfire, man. Our best chance of connecting with Blackfire is through that radio. Ooh. I need you to be here if they call. Connor, I need you to let go of my arm. Ooh -wee. That Lex Luthor side got a little piece of him back. like... I don't know, y'all. I'm worried Superboy about to snap at some point. Let that other half of him just take over. Uh-oh, is that Jason watching him? Or is that Dick? <laughs> Yo. Investigating still after getting capped, bro. <laughs> don't you know, like, maybe don't go into places that are all sketchy like that with people watching you? <laughs> but that's why he's the next Robin, y'all. Uh-oh. Hey, hey. You're alive, yeah. Donna. And you're... Me too. Donna's back in Gotham. I can't believe in this toy. Donna. Donna. <laughs> they just let you out of the hospital? <sighs> Healed. Wow. Some boy got shot right in the That's stomach. Took off. Donna's back, y'all. <laughs> I'm so glad what she about you <laughs> Looking for the Titans. That's where I live. Uh oh. Classic Gotham bullshit. <laughs> Characters always uh forced to work together. Let's get going. Any plans on how we're gonna find Donna? Need Corey? to train him up. No. Maybe it's for the best. We might all be safer on our own. Uh oh. Rach, things got really bad. There are people who want us dead. Mm-hmm. Even cops. I want to help. Good. <laughs> I got something for you. Look at that. I might have something. 
Bruce wrote that it's related to a place of rebirth. Hmm. Lazarus Pit. Lazarus Pit. Yep. This might be the key to everything. Just might. Her powers in this shot look pretty dope, though. Not even up front. What? Is she gonna, like... I know how to find it. Yep. She knew. She's like... Let me track this shit down. <laughs> Corey looking like she about to close a court case. Order in the court, y'all. Is that homeless people? Look, I got a lot of people waiting out here. Hey, you get out of the way, FOB. Let me have my baby right here, but I can still slap the taste out of the rotten mouth with one hand. Okay. Taking those crooked teeth from you. Go ahead, girl. Fine. Keep it. Always treating us like shit. Oh, poor little thing. Don't worry. He's just sick, that's all. Corey about to go in there and swipe some of them drugs, like. Wait, the vision she had of that child crying, was it that child? Is he at the station? Where's he at? Somebody got a nice little office. Is that Bruce's office? Come on, Dick. Really? Ooh. Going through the back door rather than having to face me. Wow. Sorry, but no. All your base are belong to us. And he does have the drug, y'all. Stop by the old digs. Midnight. Third endurance. Showdown, baby. This is how it was always gonna end. Ooh, you're wrong. Jason Todd versus Nightwing, baby. Red Hood on Nightwing. Let's go. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. He already knows there's a trap set for him, so. I love how Jason was just ready. Like, oh, you don't try to come in through the back door. I'm still here, bruh. What was in there? What was that? Oh no, the restaurant, damn man, Tim can't catch a break. We don't know who's inside. <laughs> Anyone in here? Ooh. Can't stop, it's me! Whoa. Tim? It was bad, but since I woke up, I feel... His dad almost took Dada out. Different. Hmm, how different. Tim got a generator then? Look! Hell yeah, he got a full on research lab. His parents didn't know about this shit. Welcome to my secret base. Oh, he said I moved all that shit. Uh -oh. What the hell is all this? <laughs> you know how I'm always talking about Batman and Robin and stuff? And She's I kind of like, know this? things about them. This is, how. this is how I know. Yep. Packed in security cameras, police radios, cell phones. All right, Tim. Gather info on what they're up to. Homeboy got a full sure. base down here with a monitor. Do you think we can raise anyone on this? Oh, snap. He's scrapping. Come on, you think together. I stole it? Look, I'm sure you folks have a lot to catch up on, but I really need to get in touch with my team. So if we could just put the family drama aside. Ooh. Like, we were scared to death. Fuck that. Got a call from the hospital. Donna Troy gonna be like, let's You're put part this, of this aside. You know, my boy was out there risking his life. We met after. Anything to do with any of this. Uh oh. I don't blame you. I don't even disagree with you. Everything that your son has down here is our only chance mm -hmm. at figuring out what the hell is going on out there. Get in touch with my team and I'll get out of your hair. Let's go. <laughs> Donna was like, if y'all can just go get out the way. She would see his mom ain't black. She would have been like, no, I'm snatching his ass up. That was a total disaster. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big time. Oh, I want. Yeah, that has to be the baby in the vision, huh? Hey. Hey, excuse me. Um. Oh. I saw your baby in a vision, and I need to know why. And if I don't. Is she from her will planet? You bend me up? Yeah, so who is that? My name's Capella. This is Maya. Don't drink the water. Dumb me. I forgot. Turns out it's not so bad. Sketchy. I feel great. Like, I could do anything. Oh. Like, I could even get my money tonight. Oh. Hey, hey, Max. Is it? He drank the water? Pretty confident. <laughs> I know a lot of people in this city. I shoot someone tonight. Uh-oh. She gonna get her powers back up. <gasps> oh, shit. Uh, what? Yep, that reactivated him. She about to mess this dude up. Okay, see, what's all this, bro? 
Man, that CG is bad too. <laughs> Whew. Green screen. A girl. Mm -hmm. All the royalty black, y'all. I love them. <laughs> Chocolate baby. Your daughter does not possess that which the throne of Tamaran demands. How can that, Is that be? black fire? Every member of the family has. The fire that burns within your veins is absent within this child. You must be mistaken. If Coriander doesn't possess the power of fire, she has no oh, claim to this throne. Okay, so how did black she get the powers, bro? Did Blackfire give her the powers? Your Highness. Yes. Your new child commander. What is it? She possesses the gift of fire. Oh my goodness. Cast a spell that will take the gift of fire from commander and bestow it upon her older sister. Wow. Highness, I... Is that a threat? That's pretty messed up. Princess Coriander. May the fire that burns within Commander be given. Couldn't they just go half and half? They were that desperate? Y'all. What the? Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> he did, y'all. What the? What is happening? Is <laughs> she getting her powers back? Maybe she like had the fire all along. Oh, I'm so lost. What just happened, bro? <laughs> like, what just happened? Beast Boy and Raven are breaking in. Hey, Rach, trying to find the Lazarus the resurrection pit. Vibes here. Strange energy. What the heck just happened with Starfire? Like, I'm like, okay. Really dark magic. Does it smell like bagels to you? <laughs> yeah, girl. I'm sure the creepy abandoned building sells bagels. I mean, a simple no would suffice. <laughs> Come on, bro, you should be standing with her. Choice. He's all scaredy. <gasps> what the? Lazarus Pit. I'm still kind of confused on how... Hello? Donna even came back, Donna and Tim. Want to order pizza? He just waltzed wow. right in there, man. I'll leave that on the porch. What? I'm joking. Yeah. <laughs> right, he's like, look <laughs> at this place, bro. Oh, shit. I forgot my wallet upstairs. Oh, shit. Oh. Ooh. What's he doing with that dude? Oh, Scarecrow just back in his psycho this, y'all. He back. So I am going with you. And there's really not a thing you can do to stop me. Uh-oh. I was worried you'd say that. Yep. I knew it. Yep. That's what was in that vault. I and I took a little bit of a detour. Dang, bro. But I can assure you, everything is happening for a very good reason. Scarecrow should be as pissed after that. Right now. Look, you're right. Ukraine's got these cops on his payroll. We need our oracle. There's eyes and ears in the street. That's why they're making rounds. Yeah, Scarecrow Gathering got the full control. Finding out how many people are in each cell, what kind of weapons they have. It's almost midnight. Yep. <laughs> oh, those cops could come back any minute. We got this. This is my block, my home. Okay, Tim. That's why I came back. Trust them. Come on. Spent half my life on an island learning how to lead five people against 50. Damn. Or 50 against 500. Maybe it's time to start putting it to use. Okay. Okay. Donna Troy about to, like, get down in this episode? Yes, I need her to freaking show some of these powers, bruh. Shoot, you Demascara girl, go ahead and just let loose on these assholes. We found it. Oh. There it is, y'all. God, it looks so small. So now, what are we gonna do with that? I belong to someone else. Just stripped them from her sister, man. So these are new powers. That blue light. Not new. They were with me all along. Mm -hmm. The real me. Those are her real powers. So does she have blue fire now? That'd be tight. Like she actually had the strongest fire on the planet. Aww. This beautiful light was already inside me. It's like the light inside of Corey. 
Is it just me that thought I that? Too. I thought she was like the younger of her in Blackfire. I don't know why I thought that. I, I don't know why. I guess it would make more sense for her to be the older sister being next in line. Ooh, I like this camera work here, moving it down like that. That poor pizza. Oh, jeez. What is he doing? Uh-oh. Red Hood on Nightwing? What we got here, y'all? I bet you Donna's gonna break it. Tick Red Hood. Uh-oh. Your time's running out. <laughs> <laughs> you were never very good at this game. <laughs> Always fell for the bait. Was that some gas or something? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you see that smoke though? Maybe you might want to not do that. Oh, shit. No more playing by the rules, old Dickie Grayson! He about to pop Standard up on his fashion. ass. Intimidation through terror. <laughs> he just... <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. Playing the disappearing act on him now. Okay. Oh, yeah, Nightwing. He got the rides out, y'all. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Uh -oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. How are there just people casually walking around in the back? What the fuck? Uh oh. Oh no, the people are against him. That's right. Oh, shit. Ooh. Uh oh. Red is about to come up now? Oh, oh. Is he gonna point it at him? I know he ain't gonna shoot him. Dick, no! No, dude. No, Dick. This is what he wants. No, Dick, no! You know Nightwing ain't about to kill him. Dick is gonna be revived by the Lazarus Pit. But that was. What? We know Dick ain't dead for good, though. Is he dead, though? Like, he got. He must have just got grazed in the neck. I thought they killed him. Damn, they're fucking jumping the shit out of him, dude. Wow, the people are on Red Hood's side, y'all. Is she gonna, like, absorb the pit? <laughs> Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, bro. Woo! What an episode. Oh my god. You know, the time for masks Jesus. is over. So he like cut himself too? Christ's sake. And he did the cut smile. Okay, he's full on scarecrow, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, so I gotta say, I really dug this episode. Like, seriously, getting the people riled up against Dick Grayson was like a brilliant move by Scarecrow and by Red Hood, guys. I wanna see Kieran Walters and more, cause I'm loving the kind of taunting act he's doing. But man, he lost against Dick, dude. Like, I'm just like, all right, he keeps on trying to challenge Nightwing and he keeps on getting shown up, but. Now that the people are on his side, like, Dick got jumped, bro. Dick got shot in the neck, jumped. I'm like, dude, this is, this is nuts. Like, the people are against the Titans, and I think it's, like, 
really like one of the best evil plans in the entire series. If not, I mean, pretty much the best, like riling the people against the Titans was like the best idea. And I just think it goes toward the writing goes to show that, okay, they finally solidified some decent villains this time. Because remember we had Cadmus last season. We had Slade who didn't do anything. And this season or Deathstroke didn't do anything, but this season we finally get like a solid villain who we see the payoff of what they did. Obviously, Donna Troy was killed last season. I'm glad to see her back and her and Tim interact. Really like the camera work in this episode. Some really cool close shots. There was one shot on Crane that just like slowly grooved down and panned down all the way to his uh, right hand and he had a razor in it. Oh, man, this was an awesome episode, guys. I really enjoyed it. I, man, I they got to ditch out on those cringy dance m numbers, though, that Scarecrow does. I'm not a fan of those. But, okay, so the Coriander Commander stuff, I'm starting to like more. At first, I was kind of like, where is this going? This is breadcrumbing us, and it's too much. I'm really not liking a lot of it. But I'm actually kind of liking where this story's going a little bit, you know, exposing that. Coriander didn't actually have the powers and that it was the commander that had the powers all along. I thought that was like a cool way to twist the story up and still kind of bring a little bit of surprise and also interest and intrigue to it because at the man, let me tell you guys, I'm gonna be real. I was not interested. I was like, look, can we please get this Blackfire shit out of here? But I really enjoyed what they're doing with that and giving us a little bit more to chomp on because I was just like so confused. I'm like, all right, what's up with the baby? What the hell? But it did lead to somewhere that actually was pretty cool. And that exchange with the mother, I did like that's one part of the script that I really liked when she was just like this glowing light was in me all along and it was her baby. I thought that was just like so powerful and I thought that was beautiful to like have, you know, compare like a pregnant mother to who needed a new life opportunity to coriander who all along had that big blue light deep inside of her i thought that was really cool curious to see what they do though is it like blue fire what's gonna happen some of the cg in this episode was good some of it was bad i did like raven's powers in this episode they look a little bit better than some but when black fire was on tamaran ooh, or i'm sorry starfire was on tamaran it did not look good y'all i was like wow this green screen does not look good, but I love to see my people in royalty. That was tight, but I thought what a cool way to throw a wrench in things there. Of course, Dick shouldn't have went alone. I think Donna's going to probably show up. I was surprised she didn't show up while they were battling, but I think maybe she's going to show up, grab the body. They're going to head to the Lazarus pit. Looks like Rachel might absorb the Lazarus pit in some way, shape or form. So I think Donna's going to show up at the right time. I, I'm waiting though for when she's actually going to like, meet up with the titans i'm like all right what's what's taking so long and what's the hold up with her like actually reconvening with them because i feel like okay she was she showed up and say bruce wayne she's traveling to gotham now it's like okay she and tim came up with this plan what's gonna happen well it looks like she's gonna be fighting against crane's police force because it seems like he like he has control which that's one issue i think i had with this episode and i'm kind of having with the season there's some stuff that happens off screen that i'm like yo this is like integral like show us crane like taking over the police force because barbara's in jail i really hope that wasn't the last we saw barbara the last episode but she's in jail and so the influence on the police force has been ushered over to crane and i'm like okay how did that happen? Like, show it to us. Let us know how the heck did that happen. So I'm so curious as to how this is going to happen, guys. But y'all, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like, look, we've got two episodes left and things are getting absolutely wild. Didn't think they would like, I don't know. It looks like they killed Dick Grayson. I don't know, man. Like, he's like pressing on his neck. They're jumping him. I mean, I he might be dead next episode, y'all. So that's one more thing that they kind of have to like jump over, but we already know it's the Lazarus Pit. Guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I really like this episode. Definitely liked it better than the last episode. I think the last kind of just tread a little too much on what felt like terror, uh, spoiler territory, but this episode did a really good job of bringing us back in with all the characters, giving us that Tim Donna dynamic. I like the two of them. Like I like the dynamic. Obviously it's platonic, but I do like the two of them and I really like 
this dynamic of like him working with her as like the mastermind and she's like the battle warrior. I like that. I, I like that there's this kind of dynamic between the two of them and I'm hoping that maybe she'll train Tim or something will happen so that Tim can become more acrobatic and have more hand-to-hand -hand combat skills because right now he seems a little bit behind in the athletic part of it all but I mean he's got his own Man, when he had his own little little base, I was like, yo, this is tight. He got a hideout. He's killing it, man. So, guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, you should hit that subscribe button for your boy, Leo Rydell. And we'll see you next time on Geekly Goods.